what is going on um, so some of you might have noticed that yesterday I posted a video and I was only up for about 30 minutes or so um, I think I've gotten about 10 or 15 comments like where'd your video go um, I got a little heated in that video and I thought it would be the best that I took it down um, so um, this video doesn't have any cards in it or anything like that I'm just kind of telling you where I've been and why I haven't uh, made any videos it's definitely not due to lack of content um, because I have gosh dang man probably 20 to 40 freaking TTMs to show um, but a lot of y'all know that there was a Blue Angel crash last weekend in Samir, um, on, uh, Smyrna, Georgia, or Georgia, no, Smyrna, Tennessee. And um, some of y'all that have been on my channel or watching my videos for a long time know that I was part of the Blue Angels from 2010 to October 2013. Um, something that a lot of people don't know, just the general general fans of the Blue Angels or maybe just the general public man they they breed us to be extremely tight-knit I mean like ridiculously close um, being in the military you're already close to your brothers and sisters in arms um, just because the nature of the beast um, but with the Blue Angels they actually just in, embed it in your head to lean on each other and that if you fall one of your blue angel brothers and sisters will be there always to pick you up um so did i know captain coos um cooch i'll call him that's his call sign um did i know cooch no um but that doesn't mean i don't know him um that might sound silly um but i definitely know the type of man he is um, being on the team as long as I was and seeing the pilots and the officers that came through there I know the type of man he was or had to have been to be accepted on that team um, I have a lot of really good friends of mine that are still currently on the team and I see the agony and the pain that they go through and it seriously tears me up um, um, I'm a jet engine mechanic by trait in the in the military and so jet engine mechanics are in the business of keeping planes in the air, not in the ground. Um, so it just kind of hit hard, man, on multiple fronts. Um, the uh, Captain Captain Coos or Cooch lives literally a hundred yards from my house. Um, on my when you're at my front porch, you can see his front porch. Um, so I, I was seeing all the people come and go from his house um, and seeing his kids outside a couple days later and it's agonizing man it's it's terrible knowing that those kids and that wife lost their their father or their husband um, their primary source of income um, so that and then I see all these celebrities, if you will, or athletes um, that have passed away. And this is kind of where I got heated, and I'll and I'll choose my words smartly. Um, I've seen all these athletes and celebrities that pass away in the past, I don't know, month. And everyone is like, oh man, what a hero. They're such a hero. And I'm like... Once again, this is my personal opinion. Please don't get offended. Um, it's like, how are you a hero? What did you do? You were really good, you know, basketball player, football player, baseball player, boxer, UFC fighter, um, freaking, I don't know, crochet knitter, basket weave champion. I mean, that's what you did. That's what you were, you're a hero now. To the American public because of that and it drives me nuts man because I see my brothers and sisters in arms die every day man for that flag and and it just kind of goes like it's just another report on the news man it's just another thing you know they'll go from that to the local weather and it's just crazy no one says hero no one says anything but yet they died 
so you and I can make these videos or you and I can, you know, freak, go to baseball games, go to football games. So you and I, some people, want to stomp on the freaking flag. So there's people dying for the right for them to do that. But yet those celebrities and athletes, those are, those are the heroes that we look up to the, in today's society. So, um, my blood pressure is starting to rise a little bit, so I'll, I'll throttle back. Um, so that being said, that's what it was, man. I, I got extremely heated and was using a lot of profanity, and I thought it might just be best to take it down. Because um, I really don't want to offend anyone on my channel. That's a, not, not what my channel is all about. But I just wanted to get my thoughts out. A lot of people have been like, where you been? Ha have you been getting anything in? Have you bought anything? And yes, to everything. I've been buying stuff. I've been getting stuff in. Um, and I got a stack on my computer like nobody's business. Been gaining weight like crazy. <laughs> um, so I'll be around. I'll probably make a video in the next 48 to 72 hours. Um, but just letting y'all know where the heck I've been and what's been going on in my life. So, till next time, peace out, adios, be safe, and I love yous.